again, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Jensen again. Um, back to phonics for Thursday. Um, so I started reading the lesson today, and it says O-R. Now remember, we've been learning about combinations that are two letters that make one unexpected sound. So we have an O and we have an R. We don't say A-R or O-R. Okay, it's or, or. Um, let me just go ahead and flip the camera around and show you what I found today as I was preparing to teach you. Okay, here's our OR card. Okay, and it's a picture of a horse. So just because I've read a long time because I'm really, really old, I know how to spell the word horse. Okay. And if you didn't already, the more you read, the better you'll get at your spelling and you'll know these words. Okay, that's why reading is the most important. Okay, so I have horse here. Huh, or, s. Okay, what is my OR saying? Or, it's two letters coming together to make one unexpected sound and that unexpected sound is or. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and arc my oar horse. Okay, now let's look. They have some words they want you to echo, so I guess I'll have you echo them first. Torn, sort, pork. Okay, and they have these written right in the book for me. I'm going to write those. Torn, sort, and pork. Okay, we have an OR in all of those, and we can hear the sound that we've been learning that OR makes as a combination today. T, horn, s, ort, p, ork. Okay, two letters that come together to make an unexpected sound, and we arc them to let us know that they're going to make one sound. Okay, the tricky part is reminding our brain that this OR can say or and knowing that the words that it says or in. Okay, it takes a lot of reading and practicing. Okay, Mrs. Jensen reads every day. Looking at our phonics. Okay, one through six, you're gonna code them, draw a line to the picture to the right, read the passage. I'm not going to read it for you today. I'm gonna let you do that, answer your questions. Just a reminder to your parents or guardians, whoever is helping you, maybe a brother or sister, that combination OR makes the OR sound, as in fork, okay, fork. All right, boys and girls, it's so fun teaching you. Remember not to make this online learning hard. We don't care if you wanna take a picture with all of your assignments together and email it to us. If you wanna print them, if you wanna submit them on Canvas, okay, we want this to be a learning experience that you're learning with your phonics and your reading and your language arts and your math. We don't want you to spend hours getting Canvas and the computer system down, okay? We know how that is, we're struggling ourselves and if we just do a little at a time, we can get this. So just do your best work, let us know that you're doing it and we love you, have a good day, bye-bye.